Hello, my name is Christian and I am a graphic designer. In this tutorial, we will go through the process of using variable data within Adobe Illustrator to create multiple files from a set of data. We will place text and images by importing data from a CSV file simply and quickly while also altering the visibility of one object. In our example file here, we will create a number of pages for the letters A through F with an accompanying animal name, description, an endangered species stamp, as well as an image of the animal. So right here we have uh, three text objects, the letter, the name, and the description. And then we also have two linked files, which is the going to be the picture of the animal, and then this stamp for endangered species. Now to set up these objects, to become variables, we need to rename them within the layers panel right here. So we're going to take the letter here, our first text object, find it, and you can use these um, colored squares to see where they are, and you need to rename the object here, not the layer, but the object. So go into the object, and for this one, we're going to rename it letter, all lowercase, no spaces. For, for the name, we're for description, we're going to name that description. And then here for the animal image, we're going to name it image. And endangered species stamp, we're just going to name that endangered. Great. So now that we have all of our objects within Illustrator named to the variable name, uh, we just need to set uh, our CSV file to use these names and I have a CSV file started. I'm working in OpenOffice but Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets should work and in the first row of your spreadsheet make sure to list the variable names which will be the headers for the rest of our data. So we've got letter, name, image, endangered, and description. The at symbol in front of image is to denote to Adobe Illustrator when we import the data using variable data that anything within this column is a linked file. The hashtag in front of endangered indicates to Adobe Illustrator that we are working with visibility so that we can denote whether the endangered species stamp will be visible or invisible. Um, all the other ones, letter, name, and description are all text strings. And I've already prepared a version with all the data within it. So we've got here, we have letters A through F, an accompanying name of an animal, uh, an image, and you just need to uh, put down the image name including its uh, file type, so aardvark.jpg, and using uh, the, the process that we're using, variable import or script, um, we will choose the folder from which um, we'll grab these images. Endangered uh, column, we've got X's to note that um, the variable or the image, the endangered species stamp, will be visible when the cell is absent of any data, that means the object will be invisible. And then we have our descriptions for each animal here. Great, so now that we have our um, file ready, our spreadsheet ready, we're just gonna save this as a CSV file. And you can go File, Save As, and change the Save As type to CSV. And make sure that it's CSV at the end, not anything else. So it should be the name .csv. Sometimes you'll see a .text or anything else, but we just want to remove that and just make it a CSV file. Save it in the location that you'll remember, probably the same location as your um, spreadsheet and your variable data. In this instance, I'll save, and since I already have it, um, that's fine. I'll replace it. Yep, we'll keep the current data. This is all fine. 
Okay. And great. So now we have Illustrator set up for variables. We have our data here. Now we just need to get the uh, variable importer script. To get the variable importer script, go to the, um, the link above the GitHub page here. Uh, we'll include that in the description as well as my blog post. You can see text of all of um, this whole tutorial plus um, additional information that may help you if you want to follow along that way. So once you've typed this into your web browser and you're on this page, you want to click raw. And now you've got the raw information. Right click, save as. And again, just save it into a location that you'll remember. And this file is a JSX file, so we need to remove the T, uh, TXT, the text. I'm just going to put it in the all files. So variable importer.jsx. I'm going to save it. It's already in this location, so I'm going to replace it. All right, great. So we have that downloaded. And I'll have instru in instructions on how to or where the location is to install the script for Mac and Windows um, in the description and also in my blog post. But for now, I'm going to assume that you're just testing this out and how to use a script when you don't have it in the scripts folder for Adobe Illustrator. So now that we have the variable importer script, we have our Adobe Illustrator um, file set up and we also have our CSV. It's time to merge all of this so that we can get uh, multiple versions or pages of animals with letters, images, and all of this stuff being replaced um, without, having to do it, uh, without having to do it manually. So in order to do that, we're going to go to File, Scripts, and if you have the script um, in the correct folder, you'll see Variable Importer. But if you don't, you can always go to Other Scripts, and now you just need to go to the location where you saved the Variable Importer script. This is where I saved it right here. I'm going to open it, and then this is the window you're going to see. Um, the data file will be the CSV file that we created earlier. Um, with all our data. So I'm going to choose data file. I'm going to grab the animal spreadsheet.csv. That's the file we were working on earlier. And now you can see uh, the variable names, which is the first row of information, and then what kind of uh, data type it is. So we have um, text for all the text strings for the at image, which was that was it how it was denoted in our CSV file. You can see that it's being recognized as an image variable. And the hashtag endangered is being recognized as a visibility variable. Great. So this is all we need from this window, uh, the variable display. Now we're going to go move on to options. Now in options, you can assign the data set name. This will be the name of each separate version or, in our case, pages of animals. And to me, this is important because it is also what the file will be saved as. Every, every different page you can save as its own version. And for me, we're going to click assign so we can assign um, the data set names. I, per, I like to assign in field one uh, variable to the name. Um, so in this case, it will be the name of the animal will be uh, the data set name. And for field two, I like to put nothing and nothing. Um, you can Customize these to as you see fit. If you want to add numbers or uh, different methods, you know, you know, you can see and check it out and see how you like it. Um, you can also test data set names. So if I want to see exactly what I'll be doing, so these are the names I'll get for each separate page or version of this uh, data set, and that's fine. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to click OK. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to go to our file paths here. So when we click here we are choosing the location of all our images and we're going to choose the folder where they're all located and um, this will help Illustrator find all our images. So I know where it's located so I'm just going to go to my folder. Um, there we go. Great, so I know it's in this folder. Uh, it'll show the path and you can show the log. So I can see that all these animals, aardvark, bee, cat, dog, elephant, flamingo, 
those are the ones I want. Okay. It's going to say it's found six of six. Great. And now we have everything set up. So now I'll import the variables. Yep, it's going to say contains five variables and zero, six records. Great. Excellent. Awesome. So uh, we don't notice anything yet, but we need to go to the variables panel within Adobe Illustrator. So go to Window and then scroll down. And there, there it is, variables. So we're going to go to Window Variables. And then within this, oops. And then within this panel, you can see that we have some variables. Name, image, description, letter, and endangered. Excellent. And as you can see, our endangered species stamp was removed because we have it in this particular page to be set to invisible. Now the data set for this particular that we're viewing right now is Aardvark. And to get through to other ones, you can see that there's a drop-down menu of all the other data set uh, names. So we can check that, the bee, the cat. You can also um, go to the next or previous data set through these arrows. And you can see that all the data that we had earlier has been imported and brought into Adobe Illustrator rather effortlessly. And uh, it's only uh, you know a handful of um, data that we've been doing. So you probably won't save too much time by doing it this way. But if you're working on 10 or more files at a time with a lot more complex data, uh, it's definitely worthwhile to learn this and to set up your uh, spreadsheet in a CSV file so that you can import um, large amounts of data. And this is all great that we have this all within Illustrator. But the next step, which I think will also be very efficient and time saving if you're handling these kind of files and this kind of process, is to save all these out um, through an action through Adobe Illustrator. So to save all these out, we're going to go to the Actions panel, uh, which is Windows Actions, right here. And we're just going to close out of variables. We don't need this right now. We're going to bring up, oops, didn't mean to do that. That's fine. We're just going to bring it down a little bit. Just going to expand this out. Close default actions. Close my my folder here and I'm just going to create a new action. I'm going to call this action save variable data. I'm just going to say default actions. That's fine. And I'm going to start recording. So everything I do here from now on is going to be recorded into my action. So what I want to do is I want to save this file out. So I'm going to go file and I'm going to save a copy. Uh, this location is fine. Just make sure you know where it is. I'm not going to change this because I'm just using this in order to get my actions ready. I'm not actually trying to save the aardvark file right now. So great. Yes, thank you. And that's all, all I needed right there. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to click on this square, which will be stop recording. So stop recording what I'm doing. And now we have our save variable. And as you can see, it has a save variable data. It has a save a copy. And it has a location with it's just going to save. It also has um, certain properties, but for our purposes, this is this is fine. Now, we want to use this action in order to save all of our uh, data sets. You know, every single animal that we've set up for every single page. Um, so we're going to go into this menu right here. I'm going to click on it, and in the bottom of this menu is batch. So we're going to click batch, and here we are in the batch menu of the actions and the action we want to do is the save variable data the one we just set up and the source of our batch is going to be the data sets which will be all the animals and down here we're going to choose uh, a destination uh, we're going to choose it and for me desktop is fine so I'll, I'll save everything to the desktop uh, the file name, I'm going to have it as the data set name, which will be the name of all the animals, or the name of each animal for each file. And then we have everything set up, so we're going to click OK. And as you can see, it's you know going through each uh, animal card, animal page, 
and setting up its own file. And if I go down to my desktop, you can see that I have all the files set up here. And I can open them up. I can open up the cat file here. And I see all the data is here. I can edit the text if I want to. I could um, manipulate or change it. But, you know, I've been able to uh, simplify and speed up a process that would be much more difficult manually, especially if we're working on multiple files. Um, but yeah, uh, that was variable data within Adobe Illustrator. Um, please let me know if this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you had any questions, um, if you know any tips or tricks, I'm definitely interested in learning more about Adobe Illustrator. Again, this has been Christian. And uh, yeah, take care.